Hello everyone, the Shady Thrifter here. And if you are new to my channel, I would like to say hello and welcome to the Shady Baby Thrifting Station, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but anyway, if you are returning subscriber i would like to say thank you for coming back and hanging out with me today i appreciate it and of course you guys already know if you saw the thumbnail you already know this is going to be a shady baby shady in the thrifty sex in the city carrie bradshaw inspired thrift haul okay but what I'm trying to say is I didn't go thrifting to look like Harry Bradshaw but what I realized is that Solo is chewing up my Mercedes Benz key. <laughs> what I have realized is that Curry Bradshaw and I both share style similarities in the movie Sex and the City. Or is it Sex and the City? Yes, yeah, Sex and the City. Yes, yeah, Sex and the City. Um, and so when I was looking on Pinterest and I was looking at her style and trying to see how I realized quickly that we share similarities in fashion since um, she is very feminine. And I would have said Tracy Ellis Ross. However, I am not a New York street style type girl. And what I realized with Tracy Ellis Ross, and I love me some Tracy Ellis Ross, don't get me wrong. Her style is impeccable and I love her fashion sense on her. However, it is not me. There are a lot of her, um, a lot of things that she wear that I do love and I would wear, but there are also things that she wear for me that is too masculine. I enjoy feminine clothing, and so that's why I kind of, I would lean back towards more of Carrie Bradshaw um, in Sex and the City, more so than. Um, Tracy Ellis Ross okay so I don't know how this is coming off but I don't want anyone to think that I'm saying because Tracy Ellis Ross is fierce no doubt she is her style is fierce and I do love it and I can pull from her style however when I look at images of Curry Bradshaw every single last outfit I can relate to and that is very rare when you find someone that their personal style you can relate to every single thing she wears for instance like my daughter thinks that rihanna is the goat everything that rihanna wears, people will say rihanna can wear a trash bag and it looks great on her and i agree but for me sir jessica parker carrie bradshaw or aka carrie bradshaw um that is me I love the femininity. I love the mixture of the fabrics and the textures. I love the the pumps. Just the whole feminine era of how she dresses is completely my style. So, without a whole bunch of talking and without further ado, let's get into how I style my thrifty or shady in the thrifty. And first of all, as I always tell you, um, if you guys want to see what I'm wearing today, let me just show you. So I am actually wearing, and I'll put the picture over here. I am wearing a $3 thrifted one piece romper is what I should call it. I was going to say a jumper, but it's a romper because it's very like bubbly and like free flowing and it's just elastic at the top and at the feet. When I saw this, I was like, 
I'm going to rock this to the flow, honey. It is getting warm outside, baby. <laughs> Your girl is out here looking snatched, okay? I was like, yes, this is me. So this was a $3.99 savers. In that section, I always tell y'all about that urban universal fashion. Yeah, it's universal, all right. <laughs> I could think of a lot of places around the world that I can wear this outfit to, baby. But anyway, this was a $3.99 savers romper. And what I did was I paired it with these really cute thrifted Aldo pumps. Um, I thrifted these and they were $14. Um, and they probably were on sale, but like I told y'all, like I mentioned before, all of my, mostly all of my stuff, all of my clothing is thrifted. And I spent a lot of money on accessories. Um, yeah, and then I, of course, it couldn't be a Sex in the City, Shady in the Thrifty outfit, Sir SJP, Curry Bradshaw inspired if you ain't got that Fendi baguette, sis. Period. And I paired this because it was the same, this jumper is sort of a same Tiffany blue as my Fendi baguette, Tiffany & Co. Um, purse. Um, and I was like, oh yes, this is going to rock. This is going to hit hard. And I took this thrifted scarf um, that I got recently from, I believe it was Savers. And it's brand new. Let me show you guys. This scarf was, I think it was like $3 or whatever. But I just took and tied the scarf around my waist just to give it some. Um, and I just love the colors. So I just wanted to add some color to it. And this actually was from Salvation Army. Uh, and it was $7.99. I'm sure it was probably on sale. Like I said, I get stuff all the time. This was $7.99. But I just love these beautiful, vibrant colors. And I thought that it would add a great look to this outfit. And actually, I'm going to step out for a little while. And I think I'm going to tie it around my ponytail and just let it like drape down for a really 70s, 60s inspired look. What y'all think? But that is what I'm wearing today. And I wanted to give you Sarah Jessica Parker Curry Bradshaw inspired tease. <laughs> because what I notice about Curry and what I also notice about myself, I don't like matchy matchy. I don't like I'm sorry guys, my remote is in my pocketbook and it is literally, I mean in my pocket and it keeps going off. But anyway, I don't like matchy matchy. I don't like clothes that's like, let me just say, I'm not a basic bitch, okay? I'm just not a basic bitch. You know what I'm saying? Basic is over here and I'm at the moon. I don't like basic. I like creativity, I like art. And for me, fashion is art, and that's where I display most of my artwork is on my body. <laughs> so, yeah, so that is what I'm wearing today. All right? The first look that I'm going to show you that is very, in my opinion, um, Curry Bradshaw inspired is this dress. Let me just show you guys. So this dress already did the work for me. This dress already came mishmack. So, and it is made by Simply Style. And it's actually a dress made by Sears. I paid $5.49 for this dress. And what I did was to hype it up, I, and as you can see, the dress is two different patterns and that's what attracted me to it but what made me really want to zazz up this dress was were these shoes I just thought that these shoes played really well into this dress because if you look at the dress if you look closely 
you see the red, you see the blue, you see the green. And these shoes, although it's like a, this shoe is very like chic and mod and, you know, like poppy. And the dress seems to be very like feminine and these are like pop and this is like jazz, if I had to describe both. Um, but I mixed them well together and as you can see from the picture, um, they actually flow. They flow together and I love it and I think it's something that the character Carrie Bradshaw would definitely wear on the Sex and the City movie. So this first Shady and the Thrifty outfit is my version of my personal style and this dress. Alright? So, the next outfit is really cute. So y'all, I have this vintage dress. Let me just show you. So this vintage looked like maybe an 80s vintage dress that I fell in love with. It has these beautiful paisley designs um, on it. And I just love the array of colors, like the jewel tones. It has like the green, deep green emerald, the violet and blue all mixed up and I love the shape of this this was um, seven dollars and this is a vintage dress like I said I'm not sure what this brand is but um, it's definitely vintage the dress is beautiful it has pockets I fell in love with it and what I did to make it my very own shady in the thrifty moment I added this beautiful Karen Scott vintage plaid blazer with the same jewel tones as in the dress, but a different pattern. As you can see, a different pattern, but we plan into textures now. So same colors, different textures. And then what I did was to kind of throw it all the way off, but also bring it together. And honestly, I would have added these purple Aldo pumps as well, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to add more flavor. So what I did was I put it on with these beautiful Aldo, and I have the same shoes in this color that I thrifted at a different time, probably a different location. Um, oh my God, these were regular $90? Get the hell out of here. I just realized that these were regular $90 an hour though. I'm pretty sure I didn't pay more than $14 or $15. But I put them on with these beautiful pink suede little pumps. Um, and yeah, these are absolutely beautiful. And this outfit really came together and I loved it. Shady and the thrifty. Boom. So this is what I'm telling you about my personal style. I love to mix textures and colors and play around with it it's a it's a it's a it's a skill to this i see a lot of people on youtube creating recreating curry bradshaw looks and i'm gonna tell you there's a difference in looking like a clown and looking sophisticated chic and well put together but also mixing textures and tones this next awesome. outfit y'all i was just I went yesterday to the thrift store and I picked up this and I was blown away. I was so happy. I think this is my absolute favorite outfit of the entire haul. So let me just show you this one. This is this gingham print balloon dress. And y'all, look at this. How freaking adorable is this? I cannot wait to slay this. An upcoming weekend or event without with a few of my friends I cannot wait to go out to dinner or somewhere I cannot wait to rock this so I got this dress yesterday <clears throat> it was three dollars and ninety nine cent and I just so happened to go in the shoe section because I always go in the shoe section y'all and did I not score big I found these and y'all when I look these up these are made by little Low Flare Randall, right? Low Flare Randall. And they're also gingham print. 
I knew they were expensive because when I turned them to the turn looked at the bottom of them, they were leather. And I know most really expensive shoes, the bottom of the soles are leather or like suede, but these are leather, genuine leather soles. So I said, hmm, I've never heard of this designer, but let me look them up. So I go on Google search images and I saw that Berg, Berdolf Goodman sells these shoe, exact shoes. However, they are out of stock, but someone on eBay is selling the exact same pair for $190, okay? I paid $7.29 for these, right? And y'all, when I tell you this outfit rock, and of course it all goes together, and I would probably carry like a bright color bag, or honestly, I may not. I may just rock it with a black bag, because sometimes the gingham print itself, because these two go well together, I feel like I'm going to leave it alone. Like, I don't need to do a pop of anything. If I want, I can just throw on a YSL bag or one of my vintage uh, black bags and keep it moving. Sometimes you don't always have to incorporate color or pops of color. You can just let the outfit speak for itself. And in this case, I feel like this is one of those outfits that definitely speaks for itself. All right? All right, so the next outfit that I want to show you guys is this. So the, the main piece of this outfit is this kimono that I thrifted a few months ago. It's this czar kimono sort of jacket and it's brand new with the tags. It was $3.49 at my local savers. Um, Y'all, look at the colors of this. The colors are absolutely beautiful. I love all the soft tones, the peach, the yellows, the very Hawaiian themed colors, very pastel and romantic. Everything that I'm about, I love romance, I love femininity, I love beautiful pieces. And this is what this says to me. And it's very, very Curry Bradshaw ish, I think. I think she would definitely pull this off. Even if it was a longer jacket, I would love it as much. But I do love the fact that it is short. Um, and I put it on with this beautiful pastel yellow midi skirt that was $4.49 at Savers. Um, and this is made by a company called Vestique. Um, and like I said, this is a beautiful yellow. Um, if you watch my videos, you would know that I found a similar skirt like this. Um, about, ooh, it's been about a month or two ago. And it was a wrap skirt, but it looks exactly like this one. Um, and so I paired that together. And what I did was, I put it on with these shoes look at them to add the texture i thought that these beautiful shoes by enzo angolini um and they were also thrifted I, i've taken the price off because i have worn these several times but i'm sure they didn't cost a whole lot but i just thought that these shoes would add so much texture to this beautiful kimono that has, as you can see, some of the similar colors. And with this yellow skirt, if you see how that green, that lime green plays into this pastel yellow, it all comes together perfectly. And I would totally wear this outfit. And if I was going for a more casual look, I would, I also have more texture. These velvet, sort of like, um, I want to say like peta pushers or they're not capris, but they're a little um, longer. They're like midi pants. I forgot the name of them. But um, yeah, I love these. I also thrifted these a while back and I wore these. Oh, these are made by J. Crew, And I love these. I love velvet. I love the texture of these. And what I did was to change up the look a bit, I just added these beautiful Katy Perry flat satin 
slides and they are super cute i also thrifted these um and look at these this beautiful pearl detail on the bottom of them and that like i said they are satin they are practically brand new i got these from my local savers they were $13.99 however i did get 20 percent off because i shopped there so much that i always get discount so although you guys may think that these are expensive for thrift store finds i don't because um, they are brand new and yeah, they're brand new. I mean, if I go to Zara or somewhere like this, this is going to be like $40, $39, maybe even more. So I don't look at the thrift store as if everything should be free because sometimes some of the stuff is worth way more than what you are actually paying for. And like I said, because this is my mall of choice, the thrift store is my Zara, it's my you know, Aritzia, it's my Neiman's. This, for me, $13 is not a lot of money for a pair of shoes of this color, this rare. You're not gonna go in any store and find shoes this color that easily. You have to do a search. And these are great quality. They have weight and I love them for this look. It came right together and I can't wait to rock it. All right. These beautiful Hawaiian pants look at these pants these are like very spring pants and they have these wonderful splits on the side however um and they were brand new they were made by O'Neal O'Neal I've seen this brand before however I've never purchased it um and I paid nine dollars for these they are brand new with the tags on them. I'm going to actually sew down the side because I don't like the fact that is this the split is this high. Um, is that's not particularly my style, but I did love the print on them, and I love the fabric that they're made of, a very uh, like flowy fabric. And what I did to add texture to this outfit and to make it fit my feminine style. Is that I found this I thrifted the Zara um, sort of like wrap blouse and it's a brown polka dot and I brought these two together to create this beautiful outfit I love this blouse it's sort of like a linen fabric and I just think that the the color of the polka dots um, with the color in the pants see how that works together even though it's two different um, patterns how this texture it moves well together and then what I did was I recently thrifted these beautiful Kate Spade um, flats um, that I uh, got recently from Savers and they were like $13 they were brand new um, and I do love these very heavy very good material and lightly worn and they're gold and they actually brought this outfit together nicely just for a kick around day where you don't want to be in heels but you want to look very chic and stylish i thought that came really well together all right all right so we are getting through this haul <laughs> all right so the next outfit is one of my faves Two, it is this beautiful vintage Adam Adams Douglas by Adriana Papel. And this is 100% silk. I don't know if you can see it. Um, but look at the designs on this. Look at the umbrellas, y'all. How freaking adorable is this? And they are on both sides. And it's a very delicate fabric. Look at that. Look at these umbrellas. How adorable with the raindrops. With these embellishments. I love this. And then it has the pink around the edge. And the blue on the sleeve. And I was just thinking this is so beautiful. And it's so gentle. And the silk is so soft and beautiful. Y'all, you can't pay. This is, this is, oh, and I got this from the Salvation Army, <clears throat> Army fashion, fashion store. It was $9.99. I don't know why my camera don't want to 
today. But um, it was $9.99. And then I got this skirt from Savers for $3.49. Look at that. See what I mean? When I talk about texture and style, how you mix these. Even though all the colors that are in the umbrellas and on the shirt shows up in this skirt. But in a different pattern. It all comes together. I mean, I see some people, some thrifters, they just throw shit on. And it's like, they think that that's couture. No, 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 no. You look like a clown, sis. Um, but no, it, there is a, and I'm not, I shouldn't even say that because personal style is exactly what it is. So scratch that from the record. I should not have said that. That is very, that was very mean. So, no. I have a system that I use in order to mix and match patterns and I like the way how this skirt has all these beautiful colors in it but then if you look at the if you look at the actual vintage shirt that has nothing to do with the skirt if you see all the colors show up in both pieces so it brings it all together is what I'm trying to tell you and so the shoes that I styled with this outfit, I believe were the purple Aldo pumps. And I mean, this is a basic, I mean, I could have did something way more funkier, but y'all believe me, you, I was tired. And when I got to pull out all this stuff out of my closet, it is work. It takes me like two or three days to put this video together because it's a process. It's a process. So, yeah, and then I have to keep all the clothes in one location so that when I go to show you guys the video, all the clothes and the pieces are here. So, yeah. So this skirt is definitely vintage. Um, it's not it's not an expensive skirt. It's very cheaply made, but I just love the patterns and it shows well when you wear it. And it's definitely a keeper for my closet. And, yeah, I mean, I could have styled it with different shoes but I chose the purple ones they were safe and they were comfortable and so that's what I did all right so the next outfit another vintage skirt and as you can see this beautiful floral pattern is why I purchased it also the pleats I love anything pleated and this is so beautiful I love the teal. I love the pink soft roses that show up on here. This is a very just so beautiful and feminine. Um, this was $3.99 at Savers. Um, and what I did was I styled it with this beautiful textured and like I said texture see that texture on the sleeves I thrifted this and this was also three dollars and 79 cent it's made by Shein I've never in my life ordered anything from Shein um but I go in the thrift store and sometimes I'll see stuff made by them and I know people will go on YouTube and say they don't support fashion fast fashion but once it's in the thrift store you I would think that you want to keep it going and like keep recycling it that makes it all worth it even though it's fast fashion it slows down once you recycle it and so once it's already purchased the damage is already done by the person who purchased it so in order for you to undo the damage you want to buy stuff that's in the thrift store and recycle and repurpose it so that it slows the fashion down, if that makes sense. So I really like this um, blouse and it all came together. And what I did was I put this on with my favorite shoes made in Italy. These beautiful J. Crew pumps. And as y'all remember, if you guys remember, I wore these to brunch with my girlfriends. And remember when I got up from the table, my girlfriend was like, oh, those shoes are cute. And I was like, yeah, girl, these are my favorite shoes. And when I walked up, the other bow was underneath the table. It had came off. And y'all, it was the highlight of the night. We laughed so hard because with thrifting, baby, you got to take the good with the bad. And so, you think I didn't go back and look for my bow? 
I'm gonna have that bow glued right back on here because <laughs> don't play with my y'all. I take my thrifted stuff serious. These are J. Crew made in Italy, and I'm gonna treat them as such. <laughs> okay. All right. So I put them on with this outfit, and it all came together. Now, after I thought about it, I had another pair of shoes that I definitely could have rocked. I could have rocked these cute um floral shoes with this outfit definitely would it gave it even more character considering the flowers and the skirt however for the sake of the video i did do it with my favorite um pink and red shoes just because i wanted to show people how you can pull the slightest color from an outfit if you look really closely at this fabric you can see a slight red in there and i wanted to play on that red so i did not go with these because i felt like these would have been way too easy um and that and definitely they would have been just as beautiful however i thought these um particular shoes would have played into those flowers way better than the floral shoes i wanted to gravitate the eye towards the flowers and the skirt and also not take away from the beautiful ruffle on this on this um, blouse so yes and then we are now down to the final item the final final outfit just kind of strolling with me and solo walking you know down near the pier you know at the wharf or something um, and it's this outfit and again I play on textures and and different um, patterns and here we have another floral pattern print beautiful colors spring colors this beautiful mustard mustardy yellow uh with these vibrant jewel tone purples and fuchsias and just beautiful overall colors and then I was thinking, what could I do? Because I like to play on the subtle color. And so the subtle color in this outfit is the white and the black that is in the floral print, right? So what I found was that a black and white, and if you really look closely at the print here, this kind of gives you sort of a polka dot, sort of, um, it puts you, in, puts you to mind to polka dot. So... What I did was I grabbed this Zara polka dot linen shirt that ties around and I played into that with the with the beautiful sleeves because I wanted to add texture and different pattern. And when I put these two together, it it it, it went well together. Now what I have chose these shoes probably depends on what I was doing um but I do still do love these Betsy Johnson um little shoes now this is something I would definitely wear to work these shoes because of this heel although this shoe does nothing for the outfit I think is because of the heel but not the actual shoe if it were a skinnier um shoe more pump more like like this one um, I think it would have elevated the outfit and made it come together nice, more nicer than the block heel because the block heel kind of front made me look a little frumpy, but it still was cute and I would definitely wear it. Um, just depends on what I'm doing, but I think I would probably even put these shoes on the next time um, when I put this outfit on and give it a real spunky spunky look because i do believe that these flowers with these flowers would definitely pair well together so that is it for this thrifty and oh god i said thrifty in the city shady in the thrifty sex in the city computation and um or maybe compilation video um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. Don't forget to comment below which outfit was your favorite. And if you think that my style kind of mimics Curry Bradshaw Sex in the City style, um, and if 
it does let me know what your thoughts are below and one last thing if you have not subscribed to my channel i would really appreciate if you do so it will help my algorithm it will help me in the youtube community to have my videos more visible to those who are looking for thrifted fashion all things thrifted and until i see you guys again i would like to say thank you and of course bye